waste. Was minimal gesehen? Stay down. Let's roll. Really, guys? Let's hit it. Eaten. Stay down. What is it? Come on. Sonde.
siren. This is it, Tuck. This is the bar Kuana's relative runs. Hello? Anybody here? Uh, you know, piece of soul, huh? This place empty too? It's definitely messy in here, but it wasn't exactly ransacked. Yeah, more like someone had to skip town in a hurry. Did the owner already make a break for it then? Be smart if he did. What with RK about to come hunt down Kuwana and all. Let's hit it. Hey, uh, the name of this place was Siren, wasn't it? Huh? Yeah. Hi. You've reached Siren? <laughs> Soma, that was well played. How silly of me. This pretty little thing is for women. <laughs> Have I told you what RK stands for yet? It's red knife. You son of a Soma! The owner must have smelled trouble coming. He took off before I could find him. Tell me. Why did you kill Sawa Sensei? <sighs> I'm afraid she knew too much, and that's all. And that's all? You're in the same boat. We can't afford to ignore you anymore. And you already made a mistake. You didn't kill me when you could have. I'll own up to that. Akutsu wasn't equipped to handle the task. Well then, now you pay the price for it. Will I? Kaito's down and you're by yourself. Should be easy.
Well, you're scrappy, aren't you? Impressive. Maybe I should have prioritized stabbing you over Kaito. Uh, 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 fuck. You're kind of struggling to stand, aren't you? Give it a second. That kick went to your temple. I'm sure your head is spinning. Trying to rush it will only make it worse. Incidentally, Sawa sensei didn't suffer long like you will. What the hell? <laughs> Whoever that is has terrible timing. What the hell are you doing in my bar? Hello? Is this the owner? Yes. Kuanakun warned me you'd show up. I decided I'd get out of there before you did. Don't expect that I'll ever come back either. All I wanted with Guanasan was to have a little chat. No need to go running for your lives now. <laughs> Spare me the lies. I already know you broke into a young woman's home and killed her. Come on. You wouldn't even hesitate on an old man in his 70s. Pass the phone to Yagami-san, please. Otherwise, I'm calling the cops over there. What could you possibly want with him? Quit stalling and give him the phone. Unless you'd rather I push a button and call the cops. I'm done talking to you. The owner of the bar would like a word with you. Sorry, but this will have to wait. Can you get an ambulance over to your bar right away? My partner took a knife to his abdomen. What? Please, you have to hurry! Hello? Your partner is in good hands now. Just as you asked. I'm watching you as we speak. Oh. And don't bother looking for me. I won't be meeting you there. Instead, there's a karaoke bar called Survive. Heard of it? You'll find it in the entertainment district along the river. Safest bar in town. I only showed up at your bar so I could ask you about Kiwana. Does this mean you want something in return? We'll get that sorted out. If you promise to meet me alone. No, I won't be at Survive for long. If you don't make it in ten minutes, You'll never hear from me again. That's one way to motivate someone. <laughs> Clock's ticking, by the way. So, survive in the entertainment district? Correct. See you soon. It better be. Apologies for the wait. Let's go. Kawana is pursued by R.K., the crime ring running Kamarucho. Determined to prevent any more deaths, Yagami searches high and low for the handyman, but the search leads to a maze of dead ends. As the situation becomes dire, a lifeline appears at the other end of a phone. 
The caller offers a lead, one that expires too quick for comfort. I only showed up at your bar so I could ask you about Kiwana. Does this mean you want something in return? We'll get that sorted out. If you promise to meet me alone. No, I won't be at Survive for long. If you don't make it in ten minutes, you'll never hear from me again.